Our property sits on the southern tip of what was known as the Cary Patch back in the 18, 1845, 1850. And it was called the Cary Patch because you had about 100,000 immigrants migrate to St. Louis from Cary County, Ireland. That was during the potato famine. They settled here, um, moved into what was thatched roof housing, you know, no refuse system um, or plumbing or anything like that. And it was a, a place for people to start out in St. Louis. What happened um, back then, um, since there were no, there was no refuse system, is you had a bunch of public privies. So we knew that the privies were there and hadn't been tapped into. Um, so we did uh, some, some, we hired some architect or some archaeologists, and they uncovered thousands and thousands of bottles. The bottles are reminders of, of what this area was back then, what people used, um, a lot of the tonics and, um, and even bourbon and gin and so forth that they'd used back then. Um, but also just a little, gives you a little picture of, of uh, the life um, that these people had led um, at that time. The Bottle District um, can mean different things to everybody. It, it can mean uh, the brewing tradition of St. Louis, you know, it can also mean the vest bottle, um, and it can also mean the, the bottles that were uncovered here on the site. Um, but uh, more importantly, it's um, based in culture of St. Louis, um, something that's very unique. There's only one bottle district in the world. We do get a, a, some phone calls from um, the, the folks over in Collinsville that have the ketchup bottle. There was a, there's a real passion in the Midwest for large advertisement structures such as that, and uh, there's not many of them left. They've been real interested in it being restored um, as, well as, as well as we are, but um, it's, uh, it's just one more little quirk about the area. <laughs> The vest bottle was invented, the, the whole structure and everything, the metal, the neon, the whole idea, the rotating mechanism was patented by my grandfather, Morrison C. Trish Sr. The first bottle was made in 1951. Originally there were three bottles. One bottle was located at Hampton and Gravois from 1951 to 1974. Oh, by the way, that bottle is still standing at O'Fallon and Biddle. The second bottle was at 1457 Madison. The third bottle was at Compton and Market. Restoration of the vest bottle took three months from the late 1990-1991. The only difference in this bottle is it couldn't rotate. That was the city laws at the time. The giant vest bottle stands approximately 25 foot high. It's six foot in diameter. Circumference roughly measures 23 feet. And if the vest soda bottle was filled, it would estimate that it would have 500,000 ounces. It's a big drink. The Brooks bottle, it came into existence at the same time. 1951, and it probably lasted about the late 70s, somewhere in there. The, the ketchup bottle and the vest bottle were kind of the same in that they had fluted neon up and down flutes going up and down the bottles. And then the overlay that said Brooks Ketchup, G.S. Supiker, who was the founder of Brooks Ketchup. It did rotate. So there was a smaller mechanism in that one because those bottles weren't quite as tall. The Brooks bottles were smaller. However, we did not make the one in Collinsville. That's the giant. I've always been interested in signs and I ended up in the sign business. And one of my uh, things that I really, because I liked old signs, and I didn't like modern signs so much, I would always uh, go uh, and try to find old sign shops and meet the owners because they, were of the era when I thought signs were really beautiful and interesting. And Jackie Treach's, I believe it might have been her father or grandfather. I think it was her grandfather actually, because they were in business, I think around 1905. So that would have been her grandfather. And she also had this huge, uh, what's called a boneyard, you know, like an old graveyard of old signs. 
uh, behind her shop. She invited me out to, to look at the stuff there and there was two of the Vest soda bottles and this baby Brooks ketchup bottles and all kinds of other old, uh, mostly demolished sort of signs and fragments of signs. It has this great industrial sort of uh, decay and uh, it looked to me like when I saw it like a, a very primitive uh, piece of space hardware from Eastern Europe like Bulgaria. At the time it had a little bit more faded paint on it but it looked like markings like maybe from a primitive flag or something like that and I never saw it as anything but a, just a strange object and the idea of making it look like a ketchup bottle uh, because there already is a Brooks ketchup bottle that's huge and kind of a landmark. I didn't see any point in having another one and it just naturally looked so interesting and it continues to look more interesting. That's what's nice about like I think old strange industrial objects. The more old and decayed uh, the more of the kind of strange poetry they have and uh, that was the way I saw it and you know it was immediate. So that's what I, I've told people throughout the years that it was this primitive spacecraft uh, like a Sputnik from some minor league Soviet satellite country that was going to try to launch one and that it didn't get out of the atmosphere and it somehow landed right there in my side yard in the, amidst this grove of pine trees. So. Uh, that's my test to see how gullible somebody is if they fall for that story. Then I can try to, you know, fleece some money out of them or something like that. The Brooks Ketchup Bottle was built in 1949 uh, by a company, the GS Superger Company, in order to um, add a water tower for use in their ketchup bottle factory. Our ketchup bottle is 170 feet tall. The bottle itself is 70 feet tall and it has an eight foot diameter cap on it. And uh, it's 28 feet across the bottom, the diameter of the bottom of it. So it's a 100 foot tower with a 70 foot bottle on it. The world's largest ketchup bottle was restored in 1995 after a grassroots effort to raise a whole bunch of money and get it restored to its uh, original appearance. Uh, after that, we started the website and uh, created the International Ketchup Bottle Fan Club. The website is www.catsupbottle.com. That's with the C-A-T-S-U-P. Uh, we get uh, plenty of hits from all around the world every day, and uh, it's real exciting when uh, people from other countries uh, have an interest in our uh, ketchup bottle.